hello everyone in this video we'll try to understand what is authentication and authorization and we will also see the new feature of asp.net mvc5 that is nothing but bootstrap so before we go for that let's try to understand what is authentication authentication is nothing but checking the genuinity of a user that means the user who is accessing my app whether he is a registered user or unregistered user so normally we check the authentication with the help of username and password and authorization means giving access rights that means whether the authentic user has the rights to access this resource resource is nothing but has right to access this page so that is authorization and authorization is achieved with the help of roles we have already seen this in asp.net web forms now let us try to understand these things in asp.net mvc say i have a requirement something like this where i have an app in which i have department and employee information and i want to create a web app which has the following pages that is home page normally any guest can view that page and view department and view employee this can be accessed only by a registered user who has the role of viewer that means these pages should be accessed by authentic user whose role should be viewer so they can simply view department and they can view employees now in the same way i have create department and create employee these things can be accessed that means these two pages can be accessed by only administrator administrator is also a registered user and finally i have a login page a guest can access that means if a user visits my site by default i am going to give them access to home page now if a user tries to click on view department he should be redirected to login page if a user is clicking on create department he should be redirected to login page now if a user logs in if he is viewer he should be able to access these two pages if he is admin he should be able to access everything especially these two pages so let's first try to create this app then we will also see how to implement bootstrap for better ui so bootstrap is nothing but it is set of css that is applied to our application so let's first of all create this structure and for this i have a database with me database diagram is here that is i have employee table and department table where department id is foreign key over here so we have been working with this and i have added an extra table that is user table which contains user id username password and role here i have the data for that say i have four users one is manzoor jack peter lily these are the passwords of course you need to encrypt and all those things you can apply so this is for understanding purpose so i am not applying any kind of encryptions now you can see that manzoor is admin a stands for admin and v stands for viewer so already i have this and i have few departments and few employees so let's quickly create this app so i'll go for file new project and i'm going to name it as auth example i'll say okay it is going to be empty mvc app say okay and first of all i'm going to add model so i'll right click on model and say add adio.net entity data model this is also a way of adding entity data model to mvc and i can name it as my organization model 
I'll say okay generate from database and my database name is okay say next say next I'm going to select everything it means all the three tables I get my EDM entity data model I'll rebuild this I'll go for controller I'm going to add a controller it will be an empty controller and I'll name it as home and I'm going to add a single or simple index for this without any template and I'm going to make use of a layout page now we will see what a layout page is so I'll say add so this is simple index I'll name it as I'll just write the text welcome so I have added a default home controller and this is the layout page now in this layout page you can see there are many uh, diff tags and some classes and this is the default layout given by ASP.NET MVC 5 now I'll just replace application name with Manzoor the trainer and it is redirecting to home index and here I'll add list items even this is going to redirect me to the same home index so I'll say at HTML dot action link I'll write home this is a link text action name index and controller name again I'll write same home that's it that's fine so I'm I'm on home page either from this or if I click on the trainer my application name I'm on home page and I have the message welcome now let me add another controller from entity framework and this is going to be department controller and I'm going to generate it from TBL department and my organization TB entity I'm going to use the layout page that we have added just now or got created in shade I'll use this say ok I'll say it is going to generate all the views as I have everything ready with me let me add another controller for employee so it has generated all the employees now I'll say save all now I need links to this department and employee I'll go to the layout page and I'm going to add over here save all now you can see this when I say view department it is going to department controller and index action department controller and index action it is going to generate all the department and whenever I say view employee it is going to employee controller and index it is going to generate all the employees so what I want I want only first 50 employees as I have thousands of employees with me so I don't want to you know wait till it loads all the employees so I'm taking only 50 now come back to layout then I have create department action is create and controller is department controller department action is create in the same way finally we have employee controller and action is create so I'll go for employee controller and here I have action create. so everything is generated by scaffolding or you can say you are MVC now let me execute this now you can see this home and I'll say view department I have all the departments now you can see I don't want this create new and all this edit details and delete we will remove it in a while same way I have view employees 
I have all these employees say create department I have this form create employee I have this thing so let me first remove those links that I have department index I don't want this create again here and I don't want these edit details these things in the same way I'll go for employee here I don't want this create employee same way I don't need this delete details and edit save this now home welcome view departments view employees create department create employees and if I click on application name again I'll be on home so things look as per our requirement but how about UI this is not uh, does not look beautiful or this is not good so what do I need to do with ASP.NET MVC 5 the new feature of bootstrap you might have heard about that so it is very simple I need to simply right click manage NuGet packages I'll go online and I look for bootstrap and here you can see bootstrap for MVC 5.1 I'll simply say install so here I'll say I accept so it has got installed successfully now I'll say close I'll simply rebuild this and now you should see the magic of bootstrap I'll execute this yes we have got a beautiful UI you can see this this is the application name and here I have home and here I have view department now I get beautiful grid view employees I get another beautiful grid create department I get beautiful form then I say create employees so I get a beautiful form for employees with various departments in the drop down list now one more feature of bootstrap is this is compatible for all the devices the UI is compatible for all the devices if I'm going for mobile apps you can see these menus yep home view department view employees create department create employees so this is the best feature of ASP.NET MVC 5 that is bootstraps so now we are ready with the layout so we need to add login page and we should start working on authentication then we'll go for authorization so we will continue this in our next video thank you very much